Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie and I want to show you how to make your PlayStation 1 games look better. I recently uploaded a video and I did it the hard way. I've been doing that way for a long time and I was informed that there's an easier way to do it. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start a PlayStation 1 game, Bloody Roar 2. So this method is so simple. I wish I would have known about it earlier because I've been doing it the hard way for a long time. I didn't know that they added this option. I'm going to get into some gameplay real quick. Now this method works best on the Raspberry Pi 3. If you're running a 2, it could slow your system down so you'll get lower FPS in PS1 games. But what we're going to do while we're playing a game, we're going to press select and X on our controller. That's going to bring us to the retro arch menu. From here, we're going to go to Quick Menu. We're going to scroll down to Options. And we're going to scroll down until we see Enhanced Resolution. As you see, it says Slow, but on the Pi 3, it works really good. We're going to press left or right on our D-pad to enable it. We're also going to enable the Enhanced Resolution Speed Hack. So we'll go to Enable. We're going to press Back on our controller. Back one more time. Now there's one more option we can change to make the games look even better. We're going to scroll down to Settings, Video, and we're going to scroll down to Linear Filtering. We're going to press left or right on our controller to enable it. We're going to back up, back up one more time. We're going to go to Configurations. I'm going to save my current configuration. Press A. Now we're going to exit RetroArch, press Select and X on your controller. So the game looks so much better now. If you followed my old video, I'm super sorry because, you know, I've been doing that way for a long time. I did not know that they added this into the Retro Arch menu, and I'm glad they did because this is such a simple way to make your PlayStation 1 games look better on your Raspberry Pi. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.